Hello and welcome to the next quick tip tutorial of Archipack. Today I will show you how to make a cutout for the stair and give the material to the inside areas of the cutout. And we are going to start just right now. Ok, let us start from this situation. We have a wall. Then I add a stair. Now I put this stair to the middle of the room. And I would like to make my stair a little bit higher. I make the height of the stair to 3 meters. And now I am going to add a ceiling slab on top of the wall. With the selected wall we switch to the tab named Archipack. And then we press this wrench. And then on ceiling slab. For now the stair stacks in the slab. And I would like to make a hole in the slab around the stair. Here we have a short list with steps which will guide us through the process of making hole and giving a material. This order of steps seems to be important to give the materials to the cutout properly. At first let's make a cutout. There are a few ways to make this cutout. You can make this from curve or directly or from the stairs like we do now. With the selected stair and being in the tab Archipack you just have to press this whole button. And the outliner appears a new object. It's just a curve and we could make a, such a curve ourselves. But it is smarter to use the given functions of Archipack. Pack. Now we are going to select the slab and press this cutter button. Just right after that the standard slab cutter appears, but we wanna give him another form, the form of the stair hole 2D. And what we're gonna do now is right we select our slab cutter and then we go to this menu shape, press it and then we press the button from curve and then we search here in this field our curve of the stair here here it is so we have to just select the stair hole 2d curve and that's it first step is done and we have to come over to the second step but let me first make a few little adjustments looks like our slab cutter made a really good job but i still want to make a few changes to it i'd like to get rid of this middle part that's why I I press this little crosses. By pressing these crosses I delete the segments that are for my opinion too much. I simply would like to have only four of them. To get a better view of our materials just let us switch to the rendered view mode. As you can see on the top of the slab we have a concrete material and on the cutout of the stair we have some white color. With the selected slab we go to this material button and here we have only uh, three categories, top, sides and bottom and we have here only three materials available in each of them. If I go for example to the category top and select there instead of concrete, for example matte paint white, so only on the top we will get the white color. But I'd like to have something more cooler than a just white color. In this case I just switch on the right to this material tab and then I go to the library. And now you are able to select the material you like from the Archipack library. In this box on the bottom I just enter the name of the material I like, random walnut. Our material is selected and now you press this little icon. The new material is now available, so let's apply it to the surface, to the top surface of our slab. The same material we can also apply to the sides of the slab. Let's do it. And we have arrived at the step number 3 where we have to add the material to the inside part of our cutout. And now you have to go to the outliner inside of your slab and select their slab cutter. In this way you activate the slab cutter to get inside of his menu. To get an access to switch the materials you have to press this little icon. Ok, let's have a look now whether we have the material already inside, but we have it not here. That's why we just go to this already selected material and press this little icon and append the material. To append the material you just need to go to this drop down menu of the sides and then press on your material. Now check this out. 
our random walnut material is spread all over the slab. Sometimes it's not enough to have only one material on the segment, for example on the segment number 2. In this case you simply need to override the material on the segment number 2. To be able to override the material of the segment number 2 we have to supply our slab with a new material. For now I have only 4 materials available, but none of them suits me. That's why I go to the library and select the material number 5, for example something crazy like this red color gloss paint. Look, now in the drop down menu here we have our material gloss red paint. That's perfect and now we are able to select our material in our slab cutter. So go to the slab cutter and then select the segment number 2 and choose the material you just right added. And you are also able to make a changes on this curve if you don't like how it sticks out. In this case you just need to select the curve by pressing left mouse button, then you select the both vertices, you press X, dissolve vertices and then the same you do for the last both and that's it now i'd like to thank you for watching have a good one bye till the next video